Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our Swan Sun campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the absolute hardest difficulty with everything cranked to the max and uh, we're just going through the career mode having a bit fun showing off different builds and just surviving. Plus, since it is a pirate themed campaign, we're trying to do that as well. So today we are joining or rejoining the campaign in the independence uh, sector. The local government here uh, has a couple of uh, easy tasks for us and we're going to do them quickly. And the main point why we're here is that available flashpoint. But today's episode will focus on potentially two quick missions for the pirates. Number one is distraction and we're directly going into it, uh, crank up the money because I think that the mission will not uh, yield any noticeable salvage so might as well just get some money we're deploying our standard team uh, lily bradford mox and hogbite and we're jumping oh damn i should have used the, uh, our new heavy mech anyways that's coming in the second mission um so we're going to deploy that team we're just rushing through two missions quickly and then we're ready for the flashpoint but let's have some fun with those missions for once we're not engaging on missions above our pay grade we're engaging a little bit we're hitting a little bit down okay time to deploy i was fast fingering that a bit and now we cannot even test our new heavy mech because i just remembered in the last mission we got ourselves a nice little heavy mech just essentially finally breaking into that heavy mech tier with the Orion. But yeah, our medium mechs should be plenty, uh, plenty for good. It's going to be a trap, by the way. Destroy enemy patrol. There might be more than one enemy around. Bradford moves up. Mox can stay a tiny bit back. And the Griffin is going to tank. Okay, so all of those are light mechs. And unless something like majorly unforeseen happens, we should be able to simply kill all of them. Holding for tactical advantage. All right. Let's start with Bradford here. Yeah, there's another patrol. Okay, cool. So, Confirmed. we know that there is at least another patrol, but that is, yeah, that's not a large issue. Coordinates received. Good. Centurion here begins to fully unload. Yeah, and that is, that is what happens when you're fighting against light mechs with well-equipped medium mechs. Fantastic. Griffin moves up. Let's have at least a tiny shot on this javelin. Good. We got ourselves a lot of resolve. And you can see just how... Um, the morale of the team highly highly influences this we can now make like two maybe even three maneuvers with in one round that's why morale is so important we've invested literally quite a few hundred thousand uh, dollars into it or credits rather but it was worth the effort at the same time You can see how they are trying to double down holding, Commander. Nothing to see here. Good to go. and are now focusing on us. Okay. Well, I suppose in that case, Lily is going to use Vigilance. And let's start hitting them. Focus takes some damage. <laughs> Is immediately going down. Oh boy, there's going to be a curb stomp. 
Got something you want Let's done? use our multi shot. Position confirmed. Good. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So that is C with all of the lasers on the Panther. And then we got an A and a B, which is fine. So some more damage to these guys. Javelin is almost out of evasion stakes. The other Javelin just takes a bit of damage. And the Panther is ready for uh, to be okay. taken down as well. Yes, Commander. Red Ford finally moves up. Moving all the way to here, precision strike. And let's see if we can get this guy down. Despite good odds, apparently this panther just didn't want to go down. Griffin moves up, and we're taking the easier target, which is the javelin here. Enemy mech. Critical damage Come on, detected. Mech warriors. It's go time. And we get a lot of resolve back. Waiting for orders. All right, Vindicator moves up. On my Let's way. position over here, and just for the sake of completeness. Number one. Uh, no, we don't need that. Let's just hit the javelin and kill it. Fantastic. Very good. I think that was a huge mistake. He lost so much momentum here with uh, doing that. Damage minimal. Ready for order. Good hunchback. Moving up. Let's Run kill that. that panther here. Central torso. Firing on target. Fully unloading. Somehow the Panther is yeah. more sturdy than I remember it. B. All right, fantastic. Let's start over here. And that should be enough to kill the panther and hopefully get that spider. Okay, panther is almost down. Might as well finish the job. That one was surprisingly sturdy for a light make. We're now going to see some retaliation. Barely his commander. But as long as we're not being hit in the head, that should be fine. Dang it. The, the one thing that I didn't want was melee combat. Well. What can I do for you? Ready to get it on. Let's attack with Hunchback Location first. Confirmed. Saving some major on, energy and back. also using all of our small lasers just to hit that spider.
And let's fully unload center torso. There we go. Fantastic. Almost getting resolved back uh, filled up. Good. Griffin moves up. Full hit. What's up, Commander? And the Centurion does exactly the same. Let's reduce his initiative even further. Target confirmed. Not sure how he got up to initiative three again. Damage is light. We reduced his initiative I twice. So technically speaking, he should okay. not be able to do that. Engaging with target. Okay, whatever. Enemy down. Mission that was rather quick. And look at that. 666,600 credits. Just a quick bug and totally the right decision not to go for salvage because the best thing that we could have gotten out of it was another light mech. But we're really fine on uh, light mech chassis. What we need is heavier, more sturdy mechs. Good, back to the contracts real quick. Got another one here, recovery. 255 is not fantastic. We could go and do it for reputation only. Might not be the worst. Look, that's six reputation. Yeah, let's get some money, but still trying to uh, sort of maximize the reputation. Vindicator goes out. Instead, uh, we're taking the Orion. So who is riding uh, the Orion? Yeah, you know, let's give that to Hawkbite and see how well he does. Got a griffin, got the centurion. So that's our heaviest uh, kind of force that we can deploy. Jungle is not the best uh, environment, clearly, for heavier mechs because they are slowed down. But then again, everything is to a degree slowed down. Fantastic. Let's jump into the game. Here we go. Darius tells us we just gotta extract a few guys. What could possibly go wrong? Well, Darius, let me tell you what could go wrong. A shit ton of things could go wrong. For instance, we could for once get ambushed yet again, because we apparently never do a good job in reconning. For two, we might end up fighting more mechs than we can deploy ourselves, because although we have an entire lance of uh, six, well, one and a half lance actually, were for some reason only been ever able to deploy four mechs at a time. It's kind of the XCOM 2 phenomenon. You're trying to, to rage war, but then you're only really deploying a small set of, uh, of for my opening. soldiers. But to be fair, in the lore of uh, Battletech, that actually has been there gotcha. actually has been a relatively decent explanation for that the mercenaries usually couldn't um, fully afford dealing with larger forces so they were dropping kind of those uh, small lances 
And the typical lance, as long as the lore goes, as uh, far as I'm concerned, was always kind of a light mech, a medium mech, a heavy mech, and an assault mech. Like that was the battle standard, light mech really okay. scouting, um, medium and heavy mech for uh, more upfront uh, protection of the assault mech. And then the assault mech just like bursting everything down heavily. Anyways, that is so much for the lore here. Redford moves up with Griffin. Redford is inspired. Might as well use that to our advantage. Panther takes a couple of hits and almost goes down. Look at that. Target's taking a critical hit. Fantastic. Yes, the target is indeed taking a critical hit. Hawkwide moves up. Not the best chances to hit, but still. Look at that. LBXs, SRMs. That happens when you are having heavier mechs. All of a sudden, the medium mechs do not look very, uh, very well. The only problem here is, for some reason, the camera stuttered the moment that we were starting to shoot. All right, let's see what the locus has to offer. Yeah. Really not a super good idea because let me show you what will happen. See, right that thing. is what happens if you're going in with small mechs. The big attack. mech just stomps on you and Enemy you're toast. Destroyed. That is why you're never doing it. Don't need to tell me twice. Moving out. Move order received. Okay, cool. So, that was just the start. No problem. On my way. Position. We have the asset, Commander. Oh, wow. Really? That was the mission? Ah, uh, that was almost a bit disappointing. <laughs> Grinding through those missions. Okay, anyways, we got what we wanted, which is a little bit of uh, reputation with the with the pirates. That's really what we came for. We're now liked, which is important. So skipping those smaller missions, although it it seems stupid to like grind through them, but those 15 minutes were well invested, because at the end of the day, if you wouldn't do that, it would lead you to kind of a stagnating reputation and the pirate reputation in this game is particularly difficult to obtain we're not going to do any of uh, those uh, things i'm not even going to bother but we're going to jump into the flashpoint because i think that you guys deserve an episode where there's actually some real action and those who have not dared to watch further uh, will regret it uh, those who like disconnected after five minutes because they will miss the first mission so let's jump into the flashpoint to remind ourselves morty bjorn uh, the ai has basically helped us and it is a ship from outside of the inner spheres so with some old technology and we're really now trying to kind of investigate the whole thing a little bit further it has picked up the coordinates where it originally was uh, meant to be. And the next one is a salvage only mission for 24 salvage. We're of course bringing our top tier team. And are we missing something? Only thing that I want to double check just really quick is if we can level up lily I hear ya. yes there we go i just wanted to give her the ability to take less damage that would be fantastic redford a little bit better aiming wouldn't be bad just like an xcom 2 he could use it commander yeah mox we don't need the piloting for him we need tactics and gunnery and the rest really okay okay good 
back to what we were doing beforehand and start this whole thing. Lily now has a better protection and we're joining right into the mix. Got a battle ahead of us in the lowlands. Here we go. All right, time to deploy on a mission. I was just, whilst it was loading, reading a couple of YouTube comments and you guys are just the best. I cannot stress just how friendly the YouTube community is. It, uh, it shows you always attract what you put out. If you're friendly and surround yourself with positivity, you will eventually get positive people back. Anyways, enough waffling. Time to go and kick some mech ass. We're moving in. It's a two and a half school mission, so don't expect kind of easy pushovers. We're fighting against equally strong sized enemies and the Bauman group um, is uh, the other faction that is trying to kind of get those mechs. This time they are bringing Maya. That is cool. I, I, I really was digging it, so I, I want to give you that context. Maya is kind of the bounty hunter, the one with the holo vid show and the action figures and the quadruple digit kill count. And the bounty hunter here, the legendary mech warrior, um, is, uh, is, is now challenging us. So they were going out and trying to find kind of the best uh, mech warrior who even has his own television show. And now it's up to uh, to be a really, really tough battle. The the idea is great. The problem that I do have is if he's such a great mech warrior, then why exactly is he in a two and a half uh, star mission and not in a five star mission? Because on the five star missions, you're we regularly you, fighting kind of pilots that are better than him. I read you, Commander. But out. the lore is still, I mean, the idea behind it is still cool. So don't get me wrong. Lily is taking a shot at the striker. Uh -huh. Lots of LRMs and SRMs, and we want to make sure that we're not taking too much damage. This is exactly what happens if you're Guys, being hard. hit. The striker and the manticore need to go. And by that, I mean almost immediately. Position Griffin confirmed. moves up. Striker takes, nah, let's go for the Manticore because I'm not sure if we can reach the others. Manticore, now we're saving, we're saving our precision strike for next round. Let's just hit it normally. And the reason why I'm going for the Manticore is Amanda? because I am not sure if our Orion will be able to reach the back line. Very good. So that's one down. And the Orion will potentially be able to reach at least the first the first one. Good moving up. And let's hit this guy. Wow, whenever he shoots, there's a tiny lag, and I don't know why, but the Orion produces lag. Good, fantastic. We have just started to receive company. That's like five... Is that five enemy max? Wow, he's deploying a star, and that is what the outer mech clans use, uh, the outer um, sphere clans used to drop. They drop in stars, not in lances, so they drop five, not only better mechs, but also more mechs, which is hilarious if you think about it. But yeah, it might just be that they are taking some unfair advantages here, who knows. Good to go. Lily and the Hunchback. Lily moves up. Hunchback has a solid position. Now it's time for Vigilance because she will definitely be hit. And I just want to make sure that we're destroying the last... Affirmative. 
of the weapon platforms. Bulldog is a pretty sturdy one. Moving up, multi shot, of course. Bulldog takes the majority, and then Black Knight and Trebuchet the Black Knight. Sort of is the biggest threat here. Trebuchet also not uh, not uh, necessarily easy to fight against, but the Black Knight is definitely the biggest threat, so might as well focus on him. Of course, once the Bulldog is gone. Suboptimal. Good. Moving up with the Orion Vigilance as well. I want to make sure that we're offering the least possible amount of um, damage that they can obtain. Just look at him. PPC, medium laser, medium laser, large laser, medium laser, me large laser, medium laser, large laser. Like he is a heavy mech to to take incredibly serious. Ready to get it on. Since we can't really deal all too well with. Um, with their counter attacks, might as well let them come first. We can do this. Black Knight has taken quite a bit of damage. Let them come. And we have 60% damage reduction on Bradford here on the Griffin. So that's fine. Commander? Moving behind the hill, uh, mainly to make sure that we're uh, that we're out of range, and this should be a kill. Here we go. There we go. Hold up, gun. Move her down. Yeah. Let's wait for them to act. Sixty percent means all of the long-range missiles are dealing not a lot of damage. Like I said, we're using that war of attrition thing here. Oh, the Black Knight is not only our enemy but also theirs. I see how it is. Okay, well that explains why we have two different types of enemies. Bradford is still tanking and tanking nicely. I'll stick with the 60% damage reduction, to be honest. I do not see why we... Well, what we could do is... I mean, Bradford could move... And go over here. That's an option. Trading it for 40% and essentially breaking line of sight. That's fine. Precision strike to hurt the trebuchet and the trebuchet is exposed a plus standing kind of on that rough terrain he will regret his life choices black knight just instantly obliterates that guy it would be nice if we could capture the black knight he has now turned his back to us yes commander He has now turned his back to us. No Let's use that opportunity. To be honest, we will not get a better one. One laser just to get the last blip off of uh, the trebuchet and just go for the Black Knight. 
I got him. You can see we've hit it well. I hope that we will be able to kind of explode both sides of uh, the guy. Ryan moves up. Time to hit the Black uh, Knight from behind. Pilot heavily injured. Plus he's unsteady. Which is fine. Let them deal with the Black Knight for now. And for us it's a good opportunity. Hunchback moves up. Vigilance to get that 40% uh, damage reduction. And let's make sure that these that the trebuchet stays exposed. So we're reducing his initiative further. I want to definitely down this guy as well. For now, they are focusing their entire arsenal on the guy. Hunchback just overheated. Yes, Commander. Listen. It couldn't have been more optimal for us, really. I I would be hard pressed to think about Moving a out. better scenario. They basically just overloaded Indeed. themselves. Left the trebuchet completely exposed. Critical hit commander. Good to go. On my way. And with the help of the Centurion here, the trebuchet should even fall down. There we go. Target's taken a critical hit. I assume we will not be able to get the entire Black Knight, unfortunately. What we will be able to do though is melee attack and lose a lot of heat. Engaging physical attack. There we go. 95. Enemy Problem solved. Fired up. There's work to do. Good. Got an assassin and a hunchback. And I'm almost okay. Uh, Waiting for orders. I was about to say I'm almost okay with letting them act first. Am I though? Let's keep the hunchback kind of in that nasty overheated state. Right, Commander. And we're reducing his initiative further. Assassin now can take a turn. Does the unthinkable and runs up to us. Reporting. Structural damage. That was valiant Ready effort. Are. His biggest problem, Target though, is physical attack. It's like an incredibly light mech who has now lost his evasive status. And we get two free attacks off of it. My it. Good. We can deal with his knockdown next turn. That assassin is quasi gone. Yeah, we were still 40% damage reduced. Orion moves up. Let's reduce his initiative as well. 
And fully unloading. Fantastic. The hunchbacks almost, uh, uh, almost knocked it down. Our hunchback gets off some extra attacks and then finishes the guy. That worked way better than expected. Griffin moves up. <laughs> Just like that, all of the lasers are gone. Fantastic. Good, we're attacking without the LRMs. Locked on top. So, if I was to take a shot, how would that look like? 90%. I mean, yeah, why not, right? Here we go. Come on, mech warriors! It's go time! I hear you just handed my friends a regula uh, regulation ass kicking. Well, the legendary mayor and uh, his lance have been defeated for once, but. He was not in one of those mechs. He will be in a later mech. Unfortunately, we couldn't potentially salvage the entire Black Knight because that would have uh, that would be a fantastic mech. If we could have gotten that one, no. See, yeah, right there. Eight lasers. That's a beauty of a mech. Seventy-five tons. But we got our trebuchet. We got another assassin here. And to be honest, I think we're fine. We can get a PPC. And another LRM-15. Kind of some good items. Yeah, the Black Knight would have been incredibly valuable. But unfortunately, I mean... We can't. There, there are two ways of dealing with it. The the one that I was trying to do was to inflict enough stability damage to drop him and then start trying to uh, to hit him. The other one is trying to hit the cockpit, and that was unlikely to happen. So by dropping him, we would we would be able to to target him, but just. The mech had too much stability, yeah, so that really didn't work out for us. Trebuchet, another fantastic mech. Could be a replacement for the Vindicator, but in reality, I would rather go for heavy mechs now instead of invest time to get a mech, maybe. Anyways, the legendary bounty hunter is a bit angry. And now offers us kind of a consultation. But we will see him again. Okay, so these are the items that we've gotten. The Grasshopper, another just absolutely astonishing uh, heavy mech. We're getting all of the good heavy mechs, but just a part, not too many at this time. Got an LRM-10 with extra stability damage, plus, 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 that's good. Medium laser, plus, 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 also not bad. Funnily enough, the best medium lasers are the plus pluses with plus damage. The accuracy and crit isn't bad at the beginning, but starts to fall off later. AC-10 plus, plus is good. So all of the items are okay. Good, even. None of them are like epic level 
of goodness. The one thing that we can do is Hunchback had been had been slightly injured. We could turn that into kind of a repair plus something. In this case, getting the light lasers out. And let's get the more damaging laser plus pluses in. Good, so that worked like a charm. We do have one medium laser. Plus, plus, plus. Might as well use it in here. Energy accuracy could be helpful for one ton. And would allow us to uh, just hit a batter. Question is, is that worth it from a heat efficiency standpoint? It takes us a while to, to cool down all of uh, the heat. However, the accuracy at the beginning is actually quite helpful. So, if we were to build this in, we would sli be slightly less good in dealing with heat. But I think on the other hand, we would deal much more damage by being able to uh, more precisely hit. So, yeah, like being more accurate certainly has its advantages. Which then brings us to the question, what else could we do? We got an LRM 10 plus 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 and an LRM 15 plus plus. So those are good options for our missile boat. We got a couple of ballistic options, but I think we're not running any ballistics at the moment. We got a couple of PPC options if we're really going for a sniper build later. And that's it. That'll be kind of the rebuild right. of the Hunchback. I'll let you know when that's done. Might as well prioritize it. Which brings us back to the navigation. It was a short but impactful flashpoint. Uh, let's go for like two, a difficulty of two. What would that look like? 23 days, abandoned system, 20 days. Three and a half. Hmm, could we do that? What's the system itself going to look like? That's a two and a half uh, system. And it's a good one. Ah, that's, it's actually not bad. Not at all. Rare items. We could get some favor back with the Capellian Confederation, which generally doesn't like us a lot. But yeah, we got three and a half. Uh, mm, that's, a, that's an interesting proposition. Okay, so that will be our next uh, gig. Uh, that is 23 days a away couple of Commander. things to do in advance waiting for orders receiving you aye, aye. Hey, oh. no upgrades 23 days what are we going to do that's 15 day uh, eight days essentially what are we going to do with the rest of the time? Can we optimize the Orion? Let's check the store real quick and see. Still can't access the black market. That is unfortunate. Could get that Marauder, but we're not having the parts yet. Could get a massive Victor. Not worth it at the moment. 
We could get some medium lasers, extra crit, extra accuracy. Yeah, not the, not nothing that's really standing out that needs to be improved here. That AC-10 would deal 70 points of damage for 12 tons. And we're looking 80 points of damage for 11 tons, but it is spread damage and deals a bit of stability damage. And this one here deals more stability damage range wise, about the same. AC-10 ammunition is like what? eight rounds now nah, we're better off the lbx 10 is almost better in a non-upgraded version compared to the ac uh, 10 plus plus that is so sad we could go and make it an lrm boat but like i mentioned i think that that's not the way to go we got a good brawler with the orion there's really not much that i need to fix here Griffin, same thing. We could slightly, ever so slightly upgrade the small laser for a small laser plus plus, but that's really not uh, worth it. If you're using the small laser, you typically will hit automatically. So Let's travel here. Really nothing for us to upgrade. Hmm. Let's accept the invitation. Morale increased. Fantastic. One of the things that you can do is when you're traveling from A to B is um, just showcasing it. Not that I want to do it, but if you're if you're attempting to like farm specific items, you can basically hit the escape key and um, stop the travel and check the store whilst you are flying through. So in this case, you could see it has a couple of interesting um, mechs that you might be requiring has a few good auto cannons uac 20 that's a strong weapon but yeah nothing that is completely outstanding however oftentimes for, oftentimes i found myself just uh purchasing a specific item whilst uh, flying through for instance i i do have a safe game I think 3,000 weeks uh, in, uh, which I okay, usually exactly. use in order to test stuff uh, and in order to farm all of the rare stuff, I flew through all of the uh, Star League planets multiple, multiple times. So that's the fast way of doing it. Ship upgrades. I think we mentioned that we wanted to go for an extra mech bay. The other option here is the beta pod or beta pot that in itself doesn't offer too much but all of the nice gimmicks that come on top of it aren't too bad let's start with the mech bay first that'll give us a lot of tech points a couple of extra repair options problem is it'll also cost quite a bit and there goes another million credits just like that Good, almost there. The problem is if you want to shop in between, like I have showed, uh, shown you, you need to abort and then basically fly to, to the target system. 
that'll abort your travel, make it a bit longer afterwards so you're net net losing a few days and um, you will lose quite a bit of uh, travel money. Okay, cool. Uh, so the game tells me 580,000. Most part of that is actually Argo operating costs and some of the mechs that are now get becoming more and more expensive. Now we still want to continue upgrading the morale. Now that it is still cheap, we can do it. It will become more expensive later. And we've just land in the next uh, solar system. So just for shits and giggles, let's see what is available. Cadifrac would actually purchase this guy for a million and then build him together. 70 ton mech. Well, I'll consider it. Extra ranged large laser. That is a super long range sniper. The ER small lasers typically are really good because they do have an, uh, a hot, higher engagement range. So I tend to or I find myself purchasing uh, them quite a bit. They allow you to put it, for instance, on the hunchback to not fully need to move in and other than that really nothing like substantially outstanding we'll go with the ER small lasers that's a that's a rare find about a good one uh, and we'll keep the two million for now let's wait until we finally get access to the black market let's take a final look towards our contracts and then it is time to finish today's episode so what are the options for the next time? If I recall correctly, it was a two and a half uh, school system and there was pirate activity. So part of me, of course, ho hopes for that huge mission. Kind of two or three pirate missions. Well, that's not bad. And that's more than you could have asked for. There's a bit of restricted access, but if we do the if we do the flashpoint maybe we'll get back to indifferent which is enough for three star missions we have three star we got a three star here and three star here and a three star here so i'll do the flashpoint first and then we're going to do those bad boys loot galore 20, 520 missions and all the way up to three and a half skulls so that'll be that'll be interesting could do this first one here even even now as a teaser because the free world's league is is uh, unimpacted but yeah we're I, i'm going to decide until the next time what we're going to do for now let's close today's episode thank you for watching guys as always i appreciate your support Keep smashing that like button and leave a comment. I love communicating with you and see you all a bit later. Bye bye.